I'm Joey and today I'll show you another pathway to tasty. I'll share tips on baking pork tenderloin because it's so good, tender is in the name. Let's turn it up. Hey everybody, before we get started today, we just need to clear the air on one thing. Do you remember the old advertising campaign which branded pork as the other white meat? You probably do because that campaign was so effective, many people accept it as fact, but hint, pork is not white meat. We only mention this because we don't want white meat claiming something as delicious as bacon or our topic today, pork tenderloin. Pork tenderloin, like its cousin the beef tenderloin, is not surprisingly very tender. As such, it is one of the most desired and most expensive cuts of meat. The pork tenderloin typically weighs somewhere between three quarters and 1.5 pounds and is completely boneless. It is also a very lean cut of meat. The fact that it is lean is important for two reasons. One, because it doesn't have a lot of natural fat to it, you will need to season it liberally to promote flavor. Also, because it is lean, it can overcook and dry out very easily. Now we're almost ready to get cooking, but before we do, we need to go ahead and remove this tough silver skin. It's inedible and this fat will not render as it cooks. It's not that it's bad, it just tastes a little bit gummy if you leave it on. So although the butcher may do it for you, if not, let's just go ahead and cut this part off. If you get some of the meat, don't worry about it because there's still plenty left. The rest of the fat on here, you can trim up if you like, but it is, it is very edible. It will render and it will taste delicious as it cooks. Now that it's trimmed, let it rest for about 15 or 30 minutes before cooking it. You can go ahead and season it before it rests or after, whatever works for you. But speaking of seasoning, this cut of meat can take on a wide variety of flavors very naturally. You can buy a store-bought marinade or rub, or I like to make my own. So to begin, I'll just pat off any excess moisture with a paper towel. Next, they take just a little bit of olive oil Get that nicely coated into the meat. Once that's done, I take and hit it with some of our fiery redhead rub. It's a simple rub made from various spices that can be found on our website by clicking the link on your screen now. Don't be afraid to season it liberally. Again, because it's a lean cut of meat, it will need a little help picking up the flavor. Although there's a variety of ways you can cook pork tenderloin, today I'll be baking this beast in the oven. Although any type of pan will do, I like to use a broiler pan to promote circulation around the meat as it cooks. As a tip for easy cleanup, line the bottom of it with foil before you put it in the oven. Now, while the oven's preheating, go ahead and place your pan in the oven to allow it to get nice and hot. Now that our oven is preheated, we're gonna remove our broiler pan, which is going to be nice, and hot. Next, as you might be able to guess, we're going to put the pork tenderloin right on there. Because the pan is nice and hot, you can hear that sear. That is the sound of tasty. Now that we have it in the oven, we're gonna let this cook for about 20 minutes or until it reaches an internal temperature of about 145 to 160 degrees. I suggest use a thermometer to check the temperature. If you're used to using the field method, as I showed you in another video with beef, please know that these are completely different animals with different muscle structures. Pork, when cooked to temperature, will have the feeling of rare beef. So now that it's cooking, we'll see you back here in about 20 minutes. Okay, so now it's reached 145 degrees. We're going to let it sit for about five minutes to lock in those tasty juices. Now that it's rested for a few minutes, go ahead and cut this into medallions, which are typically about a quarter inch thick. Pork tenderloin will make a great addition to a small dinner party or your family dinner. It can be cooked in under 30 minutes or less from beginning to end, with most of that time spent in the oven while you do whatever you want. Our motto at Red Meat Lover is any cut of meat, any type of heat, and that reflects our belief that there are many right ways to cook and prepare meat. We would love your feedback in the comments below or to joey at redmeatlover.com. If you like our YouTube videos, please subscribe to our channel for future updates. And remember, Julia Child attributed her longevity to red meat and gin. So grab your favorite drink, 
make this pork tenderloin and you might be on your way to a longer life. We'll see you next time.